I'm just gonna start off this video by saying I have never in my existence been publicly this pale in my life. Like, this is honestly a breakthrough for me. And also my room is a mess and I haven't made my bed, but I can't be bothered. I woke up at 1 p.m. today and I don't even know what time it is right now. I think it's like 3 p.m. And like the sun's gonna start going down soon because daylight savings, freaking shit. So since it's winter, we have this ghostly winter ambience, howling wind in the ambience. I'm just gonna do some winter vibes makeup. I wanna try and be a bit more experimental, but like my vision, it's like a brown tone thing, like a warm winter brown look. I need to step out of my comfort zone with makeup, but I don't know if that is possible. I really should start waking up earlier. Oh my God, I miss out on so much in my day, but you know what? I love it. Oh my god, I was cleaning my room for the first time in like 15 years last night. And I looked under my bed and there were like 15, no, like more like three missing makeup products that I had lost. And they were just under my bed. So that was fun. I'm using the MAC Prep and Prime. <sighs> and I know, like I think it was in my first ever video, I talked shit about the makeup artists that would put really tanned foundation and stuff over their pale skin. But you know what? I can't be bothered tanning my face right now. So I'm I'm going to do that. I'm going to be that bitch. All right, I'm going to put on some paw paw. I really want to have like a chit chat. I feel like I think about so many things in my brain, but then when I sit down to film, I forget everything. But today I really want to try and access my knowledge in my brain. No thank you. I'm, yeah, I'm taking the Anastasia Browers in dark brown. You know it. I was just watching YouTube like half an hour ago. So I came across two guys. First one was Diego R. And the second one was Justice Durr. The first video was Diego and it was a cover of Travis Scott's Drugs You Should Try It. And honestly, like, I'll tell you a story about that song. I remember, I spoke about this in another video, but each song to me, every time I listen to that song, my memory of that song is where I first listened to the song. So that song, Drugs You Should Try It, I remember I was in year eight. I had just gotten SoundCloud. <laughs> And I was trying to listen to new music because all I listened to was One Direction. Anyway, I saw that song and I think that is my first ever liked song on my entire SoundCloud. And I remember being in my kitchen trying to like learn the words. And there's this bit where it's like, You got that tight above your cracking on your cat. You'll be right back. Your mama never know. And I was like, that's so scandalous. I just thought I'd let you know that was my first like R&B song experience. Anyway, yeah, Diego did a cover on like the guitar or whatever it is. And honestly, like so beautiful. I love listening to like lo-fi. I don't know. All right, now I'm taking the 24 hour brow setup by Benefit. I'm gonna brush these brows up. And yeah, the second guy, I was listening to his 90210 cover and his Redbone cover. I love Redbone, like such a good song. There's a few songs that I will never get sick of and Redbone is one of them. Drugs You Should Try It is another one. Grass and Greener by Chris Brown is my favorite song in the whole world. I could listen to that song on repeat forever. Some songs I get sick of so easy, but then other ones I'm like, repeat. Now I'm taking NARS Creamy Radiance Concealer in Custard for Above the Brow and Vanilla for Below the Brow. But yeah, my friends used to all bully me because <laughs> I would listen to my music on SoundCloud and I just never like transferred to any other thing because like all of my music from all time had been on SoundCloud. But then this year I transferred to Spotify and I don't know how I feel, like I kind of miss SoundCloud. So maybe I should transfer back to SoundCloud, but now that I've moved to Spotify, it's gonna be hard to move back to SoundCloud, you know what I mean? And I have a lot of music that I absolutely hate on my SoundCloud because I was literally like 14, so. Anyway, getting back to those two guys, the music is really relaxing and really beautiful and amazing. So you guys should go watch it. I recommend. All right, I don't know what I'm doing for my eyeshadow. So I'm just going to see how I go. I'm just going to start off with this brown here and just kind of see how I go. Recently, I've kind of rediscovered some old things that I used to watch on YouTube. And I would love to share my experience. YouTube in like, I don't know, I want to say like 2012. Whoa. Like around then, so memorable for me. That was like a different life. I can't even explain by the way I'm taking this. So let's start off, Charlie the Unicorn. <laughs> Do you guys remember Charlie the Unicorn? Oh my God. Let's go to County Mountain, Charlie. No, Charlie, you have to come with us to Candy Mountain. Yeah, Charlie, Candy Mountain. Oh my God. And like the Millipede song, that is such a bop. I am a millipede, I am amazing. I command you to gaze upon my face. And like, what's the other song? Um, Put a banana in your ear. 
a banana in my ear. Put a right banana right into your favorite ear. All right, enough. And like Charlie bit my finger remix. <laughs> Why do I know that remix? I'm just making a fool of myself right now because I was like a nerd for YouTube videos. Everyone knows this, but the duck song. A duck walked up to a lemonade stand and he said to the man running the stand, hey, bum bum bum. Got any grapes? Yes. And Annoying Orange. I wasn't really a fan of Annoying Orange, but like I knew of him. I vibed with him. I'm gonna cut my crease. Salad fingers. Oh, Salad Fingers was a journey. If you guys know Salad Fingers, you just know what I'm talking about. I don't even have to say anything. Around the time of Gangnam Style, that was literally a different life. I can't explain. That part of my life was so significant. Like around that time, people were wearing jelly shoes. Jelly shoes. I wore jelly shoes. Who was I? I feel like in year seven, so when I was like 13, there was a lot of weird things going on. Like we would wear like the black chokers and like the jelly shoes and the lilies. Oh my God. And the loom band bracelets. And that was like one year and then it was all gone. Like how did that happen? All right, now I'm taking the white from the Kylie bronze palette and I'm just gonna pack that on. Now I'm going to take this blue. I'm gonna put that here. I don't know what I'm doing, but I'm gonna like line the crease. That looks terrible. This is not winter makeup. I I don't know what this is. I just, I've gone crazy. All right, this literally looks freaking terrible. So I'm gonna take this brown tattoo eyeliner by KVD Vegan Beauty and I'm just gonna make a brown wing. That's not too bad. It's very weird of me to do this. I don't think this is like a very fake eyelashes kind of look. I feel like it's a more natural lash. So maybe I'll just do mascara. I'm using the KVD Go Big Old Go Home mascara. So now I'm taking the Volume Million Lashes Mascara by L'Oreal. And this is more lengthening. All right, now I'm taking NARS Sheer Glow in Barcelona. And yes, I know it's a lot more tanned, but I want to be tanned. All my friends, sorry, but I feel like no one's on the same humor level as me. Like my humor is just like... Up and like no one understands it. So I have a meme folder on Instagram of all of the memes that I've saved and there's like over a thousand. I feel like I have to force my friends to laugh at my memes because I don't think anyone understands them. And I'm like, oh my God, look how funny this is. And I'm like dying and everyone else is like, <laughs> And like I'm honestly kind of embarrassed like if I show you my memes like we must be pretty close because I get pretty embarrassed about my memes because they're so weird. In like daily life I just like quote memes and some of my friends understand some of them don't and it's like oh. I just need someone that understands me. I'm taking the Vanish Linen Hourglass Stick, which is like empty. Ooh, right, and I'm just gonna use this because there's not enough. Look how white my hand is compared to my face. Goodness gracious, I'm terrible, aren't I? All right, now I'm gonna set my face with Locket Powder. I really like it. I really feel like maybe I would like to live stream maybe once, but A, I'm scared. <laughs> and B, like, where would I do it? I feel like I would do it on Twitch, but like, I don't know how that works. But I don't think I want it live on Instagram because I feel like that's just a bit. Like, you know. All right, now I'm taking this Scott Barnes contour palette and I'm taking Chiseled Well. I really like that color. I'm just gonna chisel my face up, up, uppity. All right, I'm gonna contour my nose with the same shade. I'm going to take Minimalist Striker Rose and Sweet Cheeks. I've really been loving these Scott Barnes palettes. All right, now I'm going to reverse contour with the shade and light palette. I'm gonna use this white color. The wind is so ghostly today. Talking about ghostly, I don't know if I believe in ghosts. I love watching ghost videos. Like I love, like I used to binge watch Buzzfeed Unsolved, like the ghost things. And like nothing's like significant enough to be like, yeah, that's a ghost. You know what I mean? But, like, yeah, I know of some people that have like experienced things, but none of my like actual like close friends have experienced anything. I want to know the answers. All right, now taking Kylie Bronze palette. I'm going to take this shade and this shade for under my eyes. All right, now I'm going to spray my face with the Glam Glow Glow Setter Spray. Oh, wow. That smells amazing. And I'm going to highlight with this here in the Scott Barnes palette. It's really pretty and bright. So I'm taking... I use this like every video. I'm sorry, but it's like my best lip liner. Curly Cosmetics X Balmain in the shade Paris lip liner. I love the name Paris. If I was to have a child, I would like to name her Paris. Like I want to name my kid like a city name. That's so cool. Like, oh my God. Money heist. Who? I'm such a basic bitch. 
But like I know someone called Paris, so it's like, ugh. It's like Kylie was gonna name Stormy Willow, but she knows a Willow. Like it's kind of the same thing. Why do I know everything about Kylie? I'm gonna take Dolce K. This is literally like five years old, probably. Yeah, I don't think I'm vibing with this lip color. I think I'm just gonna have to do a nude. Oh my God. Oh. I feel like the blue eyes and the brown lips just, it ain't working. So I'm gonna take some mannequin and then I'm gonna take some Kimberly. Oh my God, this is terrible. I have to add lashes. These lashes are secret because I have a video planned coming up where I'm gonna use these lashes. You'll know them in the future, but maybe you can tell from looking at them. I have wanted them for so long. Lash or no lash, I cannot decide. I feel like lash, but then you can't tell that I have brown liner. All right, now I look naked. I have to do the lashes. I'm taking my duo lash glue. I feel like everyone just needs to like forget 2020 existed and like move on. Like I feel like next year I can be the same age as I am this year because this year I like didn't live. <laughs> I lived, but am I really living? <sighs> that was deep. All right, I feel really mean for not telling you guys what lashes these are. I'm not like sponsored by the actual brand, but another makeup company that like sells different brands. I'm gonna do a video with them coming up soon. Let's just say that they start with Miami and they end with flair. Let's just say that. And let's just pretend that this never happened. This conversation never happened. You know what? I can't see for the life of me. I'm going to turn on my ring light. Whoa. This is supposed to be like a cute brown winter look. Maybe I'll do that another day, but I don't know what this turned out to be. You know what? I'm going to add some yellow. This literally is going to ruin the look. I know it. I'm going to take this yellow. I'm going to put that on the lid. See, this is not really a makeup tutorial that you can follow. I feel like you have to watch this before you follow it because I'm just like all over the place. Like, I'm sorry if you're trying to follow this. I'm deeply sorry. All right, let's take some of these mixed together. Oh God, oh God, oh God. I'm gonna put that here. I'm gonna take like a tiny drop of the red. I feel like that added some really nice niceness. Even though like it's hardly pigmented, like I feel like it added something. Wait, I actually, see everything comes together in the end. So yeah, this is the finished look, I guess. I actually am feeling myself. I feel like it's the lighting that did it for me. This was a really chaotic video and I literally thought I was going to start off with something completely other than what I ended up with. So yeah. But yeah, I hope you guys liked this makeup. I don't want to call it a tutorial. Walkthrough. <laughs> don't forget to like and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram at Leah Holton underscore. Ciao, B.